Hi, hope you're having an amazing day. As you saw from the title of this video, today we're going to be doing a full face of City Color Cosmetics. The star of the show is the Sandia palette, which is this right here. I also incorporated a couple other items that I own from their website, including a highlighter, a bronzer, a blush. We have some brow products. We have a little bit of everything today. So if you want to see how I got this look and my thoughts on their products, just keep on watching. But before that, don't forget, if you like drugs and makeup, go ahead and stick around, subscribe, maybe hit the bell so you're notified whenever I upload. And if you can like the video, if you like it, and the video is going to start right now. Let's just jump right into it. I do already have my brows done. Unfortunately, the City Color brow pencil that I own, I purchased when I had brown hair, so the color is really light on me, like for my brows right now. So I didn't use it, but if you didn't know, they do have a brow pencil, and this is a thin brow pencil. It's called the Be Bold Brow Precision Tip Waterproof Pencil. And I believe this one's in like, this one's in the shade Dark Brown. There's a look at the tip of this product. This would not have worked for me today, so I just went ahead and used my Amuse Brow Pencil along with the Metamorphosis Eyebrow Pomade in the shade Medium Brown, and that one is just dark enough to match my hair. I went ahead and cleaned up the brows and primed the lids using my e.l.f. 16 Hour Camo Concealer because that's my routine. Um, but if you didn't know, of course, there's a brow pencil. There's also a brow soap available on their website, which is this one. I'm not really into the brow soap trend anymore like that much. I just, you know, have been doing my same routine over and over and I've just been sticking to it. That's just what I love. But if you didn't know, they have a brow soap as well. This is called their Doll Lip Plumper. There's a look at that product. I did go ahead and try some on yesterday at night i just wanted to see the severity of the stinging of this product i'd say it's a nice medium kind of sting it's not nothing too crazy but you could still feel it so i'm gonna go ahead and apply some now and i do want to make sure i'm just getting the lips because if you guys have been here there was one time where i had my Too faced lip plumper I accidentally got on my cheek it was a whole fiasco so make sure you're careful where you apply it now as of like actually plumping the lips and i didn't really see any difference to it and the stinging lasted i have to say about like five minutes or so it wasn't like a long time and again the stinging was only like a medium not as harsh and like crazy as the Too Faced lip plumper but not like you don't feel anything you do feel the stinging it's already starting so if you're into it go ahead and purchase it honestly i'm like i don't really feel a difference but my lips are finally hydrated so that's all i needed it for so next we're going to get into eyeshadow so i did want to preface this video by saying i have quite a few city color palettes the first palette is the whimsical forest unfortunately these they don't have them on their website anymore which is really sad i never got to film a video with this palette just because i was putting it off but yeah the other day i was on their website and they don't have these anymore it's such a cute palette unfortunately for some reason or another they don't have this one anymore it's really cool it opens up like so and then those are the shades in this palette we may reach into this palette for the greens but i'm not really sure yet i also have a lot of their paradise love palettes which i've been doing a color series on my instagram with i do have their orange vibes i have their pink vibes their purple vibes palettes so i have been doing looks on these palettes on my instagram so definitely go there and follow me for like more updates on these palettes for photos for inspiration and stuff these are really affordable palettes we are going to use one of them today we're going to use the city color paradise love green vibes palette and this one at this moment in time i haven't done a green look with this palette on my instagram but i cannot wait i'm super excited for this palette you get so many beautiful different like green tones in here you get a glitter tone as well you get this brown shimmer here but it does have like a green undertone to it this is such a stunning palette i love these little series and i've been having a lot of fun coming up with looks with these palettes and photographing them this is such a nice palette and then we're also going to pair it with the star of the show which is the la sandia palette which i actually do have a whole video using this palette and a couple other like city color products it's on my channel so that's going to be linked down below but this is such a stunning palette super pigmented really blendable from what i remember so we're going to see how this goes all of their palettes do come with mirrors except 
the whimsical forest so there's a look at the color story we're going to be working with i'm thinking we're definitely going to stick with greens for today's look and i'm thinking a crazy cut crease we're going to use some glitter of course i'm thinking this on the lid i also have a fairy lights like liquid shadow situation this is our liquid glitter eyeshadow I'm thinking we're going to use this shade not sure yet we are going to cut the crease with this product so there's a lot to play with um but for sure this is going to be the star of the show they also have a pina palette that goes along with the sandia palette which i haven't picked up unfortunately but it looks stunning i'm going to go into the green vibes palette and i'm going to take the shade lush which is this one here it is the darkest one in the pan but i noticed like when i swatch it it isn't that dark so let's see yeah it's a very light kind of situation so i'm just going to take that and kind of start off the look just by blending this out not taking any on the lid just because i am going to cut the crease but just having like a background kind of shade Next, I'm taking the lightest shade up here. I think it's called Midori or something. It's like a light lime. It's a lime shade. I'm going to go ahead and use this to blend this dark green. I forgot to mention this in the beginning of the video, but it is raining. I'm sure you guys are going to be able to hear that and the airplane passing, but yeah, it is raining if you're listening on like earphones. Um, I forgot to turn on my heater to like kind of block the sound but that's what's going on it's raining pretty hard it's been raining for days so i'm gonna take this and the back of my hand which is a city color canvas base in the shade minty i did swatch all of these on my instagram so if you want to see the other ones they're over there but we are going to use this to cut the crease i'm gonna go ahead and take my flat ioni brush i'm gonna take some of that situation Now that the crease is cut, I'm going to go ahead and take the palette again and I'm going to take the shade IE, which is that light green icy tone. I'm going to start packing it all over the lid. I'm going to go back into this palette. I'm taking the shade Venice and I'm going to go ahead and deepen up that cut crease. All right, so a lot happened while I was off camera. First off, I went ahead and cut the crease. I think you guys saw that. I also packed on the shimmer shade from the Sandia palettes that's on the end. It was such a stunning shade, I loved it. I tapped over a little bit of the Fairy Lights Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow in this light shade here, which is basically just so it just left some like glitter particles on there i went ahead and I took that glitter that's in the green vibes palette which is in the shade Karine, and i basically put it like where the cut crease is i'm not feeling very confident that they look the same on both eyes but that's what happened with this to apply the glitter i used the city color sparkle and shine glitter primer this is such a great like primer adhesive situation for glitter and this is what got me into wearing glitter because it's so easy to apply so that's what i always use and thankfully they had it on their website so i repurchased I also attempted to throw on a little bit of their City Color Aquatic FX situation. I wanted to do a graphic liner with this product and I also even bought a specific brush from the Dollar Tree which is like a super thin angled brush. Unfortunately for some reason or another I didn't want to adhere to like the shadow so I just um, gave up on that but they do have a couple other shades in their aquatic effects basically you just put some water or like setting spray and it activates with that i did swatch all of the other colors on my instagram but i didn't i wasn't able to use it but if you didn't know they have those i just went ahead and used their city color be bold liner i use this so much that the words literally rubbed off this is the liner that i use on the eyes so black so nice so easy to work with so that's what i have as a liner so we do have a new mascara from them which is the be bold volume mascara which looks like this i also have their other mascara that they actually sent to me 
and this is the mascara the be bold mascara unfortunately again i use this so much that the words rubbed off i like mentioned this in many a video i mentioned it in favorites videos and there's a look at the wand of this product so this is the black tube so this one is new to me i've never used it Ooh, here's a wand of the pink tube so let's do a little bit of a comparison so for sure black wand is much smaller as you can see and the pink wand is much like fluffier and just bigger overall so we're gonna see how this works i'm honestly a little scared <laughs> it's it's a big wand if you're interested in the mascaras they're really nice formula i love wearing them especially when i'm not applying lashes this was my favorite one for like work purposes so i'm gonna go ahead and take this mascara the new one it's definitely depositing a lot of product on the lashes i think this is like a 50 50 for me right now i feel like it's gonna get everywhere because it's such a liquidy formula opposed to the black tube which is more of a dry formula so we'll see what i think but it definitely did add volume to my lashes but with a lot of product so we'll see what i think at the end so i did pick up some lashes i picked up some lashes that were named steph because my name is stephanie but unfortunately for some reason um, they accidentally put a different pair in my box which is the maria style so we're gonna put these on oh well we're gonna see the quality of these lashes i'm really into a lot of like shop Masse lashes i use a lot of eye on these so i'm very into affordable lashes so i know the lashes can be affordable and good quality so we're gonna see what i think of these i've never tried their lashes before and again these are in the style maria next we're gonna go into foundation this is the b matte foundation in the shade matte 201 and this one is pretty light but we're gonna see how it works today this is gonna determine how much contour I throw on because some or how much bronzer now I have glitter all over my face but let's see yeah you see it's like pretty light all right so there is the foundation it's amazing coverage but i'm looking a little ghostly so i'm gonna take my elf cream contour palette that's in my shop my stash take my awa studio f7 brush i'm gonna contour the skin all right so this really helped with bringing back color to my skin i feel like now we have to mention in the areas that i needed it and brightness in the like center of the face and next i'm taking my siate london miss piggy collection cream palette it's a cream blush palette i haven't used this in a long time so i'm thinking i'm just going to stick to this shade here maybe mix it with the pinky tone maybe the brown maybe just mix them all <laughs> and go ahead and apply this now city color they don't have any cream bronzers blushes or highlights from what I've seen on their website. So hopefully soon they come out with it because I know it's like a big thing. A lot of people are into cream products. So I hope they jump on the bandwagon so we can talk about those on the channel. Next, taking my ColourPop Flexitarian that's also in my shop, my, no, <laughs> shop my sash, in my project pan. It's a year long rolling project pan. If you didn't know. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that on the cheekbones here. Next, I'm taking my concealers. I'm taking the AOA Studio um, Conceal. This is their color corrector in peach. And I'm also taking the City Color Concealer. And this one's their full coverage flawless concealer in the shade medium two. Very light as well. So we're gonna see what happens. Hopefully this color corrector kind of evens it out, but it's a very light concealer. Okay, and it blends in so quickly as well. Next, I'm going to go ahead and take the City Color Be Matte Bronzer. If you guys have been here on my channel, you guys know I rave about this so much. I mentioned it in favorites videos. I mentioned it in my top 10 favorite bronzers video. It's just such an amazing bronzer. I love it. So we're going to go ahead and use this on the skin. And I have been on a like bronzer kick where I'm just like applying it heavily. So don't judge. Okay, or judge, I don't care. But I'm just, I don't know. I'm just obsessed 
with bronzer right now and I've gone through this phase before where I'm like oh my god bronzer and I apply it crazily crazily heavily and then later on I'm like oh my gosh what did you do but at the moment I'm just like I don't care I love bronzer for blush I'm taking the city color keep blooming baked blush and this one's in the shade chocolate cosmo such a beautiful color so I'm gonna grab some of that and it is like a pinky kind of blush all right now that we're here i'm just gonna go ahead and do lips why not i'm taking my project pan lip pencil i don't have any lip products from uh city color so i'm just gonna go ahead and use a couple of my shot my stash my project pan items all right so i went ahead and filled in the brows as you guys saw Next, I'm taking the City Color Be Bold Brow Gel. So I thought this was like a colored brow gel, but it's actually a clear brow gel, which I love. I'm so excited about this. I love brow gels. I don't know what it is. Um, I've really been into the one from the 99 cent store, as you guys know. So I'm just going to go ahead and take, oh, this. It's like a goopy kind of product. It's leaving like little strings of product for some reason but my brows feel set they feel a little wet as well so we're gonna see how this wears all right i'm gonna take the dark green again in venice and i'm just gonna throw it on the lower lash line i don't know why i keep forgetting liner for my lower lash line it's been happening to me a couple times already but it is what it is so i'm gonna go ahead and take that color under the lash line and i also did pick up a lower lash line mascara from their website so this is the city color be batty lower lash mascara which looks like that i also do have my shamise one so we can compare <gasps> what happened all right so that's a look at it i kind of try to fix it but i don't know how that happened i'm just gonna go ahead and use this on the lower lashes i know no product is coming off so i'm gonna go ahead and swerve in there again yeah this product was a fail unfortunately it feels like there's no product in there no product is picking up on the wand thankfully i brought my aoa studio one which looks like this same same thing except this one does have product in it as you can see it's deepening them up really quickly I'm gonna go ahead and spray the face using my project pan setting spray and lastly i'm taking the highlight from city color and this is their gummy glow highlighter this looks, this one does come in a couple other colors and it basically looks like a little bear so this is the one in pineapple bear and they do have like a pinky one it's like a very squishy kind of formula it's really nice really reflective i'm gonna go ahead and throw it on the face as well as in the inner corner All right, guys, so this is the final look. Let me know down below what was your favorite product from today's video, and we made it to the end. So I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed filming this video today. Everything that I talked about, other names of the prices, are going to be down below, as well as any videos that I mentioned throughout this video or videos that I uploaded last week. Don't forget to upload three times a week on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, so if you could stick around, that would be amazing. I have my Insta handle displayed on the screen. I post a lot of makeup finds from Jokes on a High End, so if that interests you, go ahead and follow me there. And it'd be so amazing if you could like and subscribe. Of course, you don't have to. You're your own person and you make your own decisions, but it wouldn't hurt to give this video a like, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.